this was this an extremely challenging case which was presented. Um, however, um, unfortunately, in genetic high-risk CLL patients, we see now these patients who are a multiple refractory to the group of BTK inhibitors as well as BCL2 inhibitors. In addition to that, the challenge in that patient was that he was HIV positive and receiving art therapy. Um, so the problem specifically here in this patient is that um, in, he, he was a young, relatively young patient um, that, of course, in the refractory patients, you would approach for cellular therapy. So within clinical trials, um, normally we recommend to try to get a patient for a CAR T-cell trial listed. However, due to um, his HIV uh, positivity, um, so being well controlled, um, of course, it will not be able to include that patient into a clinical trial. And it's also questionable if sufficient um, or how these T cells, which could be then collected, are functioning for this treatment. Um, therefore, the um, only other um, traditional cellular therapy available is allogeneic stem cell transplantation. And in this case, we discussed the outcome because also data here are sparse on allogeneic stem cell transplantation in HIV positive patients. Um, but um, considering that um, a significant proportion of patients has um, in, in good overall survival after allogenic stem cell transplantation in spite of their HIV positivity. Um, this was what we finally discussed as the best option to treat this triple refractory patient due to the difficulties getting a patient um, into a clinical trial or these types of patients into a clinical trial.